Hey guys, and welcome back to another Conan Exiles video. Today we are in the far western desert, east of Sepameru, building a factory. This build was suggested by Rufus Domitian on my Alchemist Tower build guide, so thanks for the suggestion Rufus. Before we get started though, we do of course have to thank the sponsors NordVPN. If somehow you haven't heard of them before, NordVPN offers one of the best rated VPN services available, featuring super fast servers in 60 countries, no data logging, 24-7 customer support, double data encryption, the ability to unlock region lock content including Netflix, ITV, BBC iPlayer and such, and more to ensure you always stay safe on the internet. With unlimited bandwidth, a lightweight Chrome browser extension, and the ability to use Nord on up to 6 devices simultaneously including mobile devices, NordVPN is the best way to protect yourself on the internet. It's simple to use one click and you are both connected and protected. NordVPN is great and it's one of the best ways to support me. Each video I make takes roughly between 8 and 12 hours to make, so when you purchase NordVPN through my link you really do help me out a ton. You can get 70% off NordVPN when you visit nordvpn.org slash eradyt, or use code eradyt at checkout, which comes out to $3.49 a month, or about £2.80 if you're in the UK, which is a great price for the service. As always, a massive thanks to Nord for sponsoring the video. This build is designed as a medium-sized factory for processing metals and ores, and producing weapons, armour, building pieces, etc. So, without further ado, let's get started. Firstly, we're going to start off with, of course, the base plate. I made the blueprint you can see on screen now before I started this build, so I had a rough idea of what I wanted to do. I used stone fence foundations to properly plan out the base plate, and then used arena ceilings to cover the base plate over. Next for the walls. I chose to use arena pieces for pretty much the rest of the build to emulate a sort of brutalist architecture and separate the factory from the nearby warm and homely architecture of Sepameru, and of course to suit the nearby colour palette of the desert. I elected to build the walls four tiles high as I wanted two floors on the back section, one for storage and one to look over the factory floor in sort of an overseer-like position. Whilst building the walls up I started to place furnaces down inside some of these square sections, though I would later change these furnaces for storage columns. I also placed blacksmith stations in the centre of the floor. Regarding the furnaces again, I would eventually move them to the back of the ground floor, as I think they fit better there and it helps to keep a good flow on the factory floor, but you'll see that in the furnishing phase. After building the walls up for the roof, I simply just covered the top of the walls with arena ceilings and created castle battlement like designs to keep things simple. I originally planned to use slope ceilings from the arena DLC pack, however looking at the build it was very bare bones and sort of an oppressive design as factories usually are in real life, so therefore I opted just to create a simple flat ceiling.
Finally, when the shell of the build was done, it was then time to of course furnish. Approaching the build I've kept the outside dark whilst lighting the inside with hanging braziers and bracketed wall torches to keep a very simple industrial theme with open flames. I've removed the furnaces as I said I would earlier and replaced them with chests and also placed dismantling, armourer and artisan benches on both sides of the room. In the back section of the ground floor are the furnaces, where raw metal can be smelted to be worked at blacksmith stations. I've also added some elevators at the back of the build for moving materials up and down. Finally, the top floor. This is the overseer section where the overseer of the factory can watch over the factory floor and call out what needs to be done on the day. This also doubles as the storage section, where raw metal and partially finished products are stored. And there we have it, a metal processing factory in the far western desert, just east of Sepameru. Thanks for watching, and thanks again to Rufus for the suggestion. I think this build works nicely as a factory, and could work quite well as an attachment to a large existing clan base. If you've enjoyed this video leave a like, and let me know in the comments below if you have any build suggestions for future videos. As usual, absolutely anything is welcome. Don't forget to both follow me on Twitch, and join the fun on our Discord through the links in the description. Also, of course, don't forget you can get 70% off NordVPN when you use code IRADYT at checkout, or you can go through my affiliate link either in the description or the pinned comment below. YouTube is currently my full-time source of income, so if you enjoy the content and would like to help support the channel so I can continue to put out the best content possible, do consider becoming a patron. There are multiple tiers of support from $1 to $20, offering many different benefits from a mention in every video to Discord roles, and even sneak peeks of every new video before anyone else. The link to my Patreon is always in the description, so if you'd like to support the channel, no matter how much you want to pledge, do feel free to consider becoming a patron. During the lockdown, the video previews are usually restricted to the $20 tier, and are now available to the $10 tier and above, so that anyone that chooses to become a patron at $10 or above just has that little bit more content to watch. On that note, a thanks to our current patrons Sammy, Sadialot, Randar, Motels, and Dumpfucks. If you're new here, feel free to check out the rest of the content on the channel. There are new Code Next Souls videos coming every Wednesday and Sunday, so if you like what you see, subscribe and ring the notification bell to be the first to see the next video, and to join us on the road to 10,000 subscribers. Again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon.